welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is three months post COVID update for my lungs. I wanted to share an update three months post being cleared of having COVID infection. And I really think it's important for each one of you to know the journey of being able to get your lung health back post having COVID when you've had more of a mild to severe case. So I am three months out from my doctor clearing me of having the active COVID infection. Now, like I said in previous video, this doesn't mean my battle with COVID is over. Like the day that I got cleared was not the last day of this battle. And that's just because I have chronic diseases and autoimmune diseases. And because of this, I had a more severe case and I unfortunately gained some damage <laughs> in my lungs from COVID that I previously did not have prior to contracting this virus. And so I felt it's so important to be able to track my journey of rehealing my lungs and seeing how long it takes and what works, what doesn't work. And I figured if you guys have any questions about this type of topic or subject, um, I would love to hear them. So please comment below and I will connect with you and do my best to help you. So the actual update of my lungs post COVID. Now I have definitely healed a lot since having COVID active infection three months ago. And the things that I mainly see now is I do still struggle with my lung capacity and this is actually really like challenging for me because I never had this issue before. Like yes, I grew up with childhood asthma and yes, I've had a few asthma attacks here and there in the last decade, but those asthma attacks were strictly due to random rare occurrences. And so it's been years since I was dependent on my asthma medication until COVID. So unfortunately, I have honestly been taking my rescue inhaler daily since getting cleared from my COVID infection. And I mainly take it at night because I still struggle at nights with my breathing, uh, mainly because I'm talking all day at work and I'm moving around and walking a lot and doing stairs, etc. And so, unfortunately, all of that um, is very difficult for me. And so I have to still take my inhaler night, every night before I go to bed and sometimes in the day. Um, <clears throat> so like if I talk a lot, I have issues breathing. If I walk upstairs still, if I walk up hills still, I have to stop multiple times to breathe and catch my breath. And it feels like it's, it's actually kind of achy, um, like around here. But you know how, and I explained this in the other video, like with COVID breathing, it feels basically like you're suffocating and, and your lung capacity used to be normal like this when you breathe in, but with COVID, it feels like you're only breathing to here. So it's like, it, it, it hurts there and it feels like I have barely any lung capacity and I have to constantly catch my breath and it's honestly horrible. <laughs> but it's okay because I've seen a huge difference. Like I can walk longer distances uh, and my friends have even noticed when they walk with me at the beach uh, that they've been like, wow, like that's the longest you've walked in a while. And it was a couple miles. And so I've noticed those types of improvements and it's so big. And the fact that I'm actually talking to you multiple minutes in a YouTube video is huge as well when I couldn't even barely talk when I had the active infection. So I know I'm healing. It's just taking its precious sweet time. <laughs> um, and that's okay. <laughs> Something that does affect my daily life other than having to take my asthma medication is at work when I walk from the parking lot to the building that I work in currently, um, I still have problems. I still see huge 
issues with my breathing that I have to stop multiple times, kind of take a breath from my mask and just keep going and keep waiting and being patient with myself and my lungs. And it can get discouraging, but it's okay. Like healing is a process and it's a journey and it takes time and healing is not linear. It's like this. And so once you kind of realize that and really believe that, then you'll be able to kind of accept it more and continue to be motivated and inspired to, to bring back your health. So if you have any questions, please comment below. I'm gonna continue to keep you updated and thank you so much for being a part of my journey. I'm so appreciative of each one of you and your prayers. It really means a lot to me.